Hello everyone, welcome back to our EE306 online lab series. The main topic of this lab are the magnetic circuits, transformers, generators, and motors, as we have discussed in our previous class. Also, we have shown you the workstation and the main components of this lab. In our previous experiment, we have demonstrated how the experimental components are connected with the main power supply as well as with the data acquisition system. Then we have demonstrated how the data are flowing from the experimental components to the KC software. Our second experiment is about three-phase circuits and power measurements, where the first objective of the experiment is to connect the three-phase loads as Y and delta connections. Our second objective is to measure the power in three-phase circuits. Finally, our third objective is to determine the power factor in three-phase circuits. As you have already noticed that our available experimental setup has four measurement channels. That means we can prepare maximum two watt meters. However, in this experiment, we have to measure three-phase powers. Therefore, we will be using the well-known 2 watt meter method for the measurement of three-phase powers. These 2 watt meters will give us the power P1 and P2. Then using these formulas, we can calculate the total real and reactive powers as well as the overall power factor of the system. In this experiment, we have four cases, where the first case is the Y-connected inductive load. Now let us see why we are saying this is Y-connected load. As you can see, the point N is connected to three more points R, S, and T through three loads. Though it is looking like an inverted Y, but this is our Y-connected load. Before making the connection, we must have to check all of our three safety fuses whether they are working well or not, as we are going to prepare a three-phase circuit in this experiment. While activating the KC, we must have to select the RMS values as we are dealing with the AC quantities in this experiment. Then we have to do both manual and automatic recording as per the guidelines. This is a presentation for experiment number two, where we're going to have to talk about three-phase uh, circuits and uh, power measurement. So the objective of this ex specific experiment is to uh, uh, measure the three-phase uh, current uh, voltage power for all sorts of connection, like starting from y, uh, y and delta, and then whatever uh, variance for, for this combination. Uh, we want to measure the power also, and then if you have current and voltage, then you have power. And if you have current, AC current and AC voltage, then you have a time shift in between, which is basically the power factor. So the power factor is an important uh, uh, element or parameter in, in uh, in uh, three phase and second phase, it's a uh, Y connection, Y connection inductive load. Now uh, this is uh, the startup of the setup, where we're going to have to start from the uh, three phase power supply, and then uh, we have to be careful with the manual. Here you have a fixed uh, three phase source, where we have three phases, and three phases are feeding the three phase fuse, and from there we go to the isolation amplifier. And from there we go to the A to D converter in order to send the, send the uh, corresponding current and voltage measurement to KC. Now here it is actually the uh, series combination of uh, resistive and inductive load. The three of them are connected in Y. This is the neutral point where the connection of the neutral is fixed here. So. Here we have our Y connection, and then uh, for this setup, we're going to go for voltage in waveform, for current in waveform, and then as well as we're going to have to uh, have enough data to fill table number one. That is supposed to be for three cases of load, where we have to change the load from 100% then to 70%, then to 50%. For this Y connection, here is the display of voltage and current for... Uh, Y connection. So you have the display for voltages and currents uh, in uh, uh, the Y connected inductive load. So uh, this is what's supposed to be an instantaneous display using CASI. Now, this is the display for the uh, RMS value, or if you want, the manual recording for uh, part one of this experiment, where you have the three sets. We have measurements for each load. We started with 100%. Then we go for 70% uh, of the resistance, then to 50%. Uh, so in each case, you have two line voltages, and to have you have two line currents. Of course, when you go for the report, you're going to have to find out about the power factor for each case, and the power factor has to be 
uh, sorted out since you have both currents. It then you have to go to the manual, find out about the relation, and then from the relation you can uh, go and deduce the power factor between uh, the two quantities. In case A, we have recorded the voltage and current waveforms using the automatic recording option. Then from the manual recording option, we have filled up this table. Our case B is the Y-connected capacitive load. Here, we just have changed the inductive load with the capacitive load. Now we move to the second part of this experiment, which is supposed to be the connection for capacitive load. So all what has been connected in the beginning is the same, except that now we have added the capacitor in series through the resistor for each phase, and then we form a Y-connected capacitive load. Now, uh, if you move to CASI, this is display of CASI for uh, uh, two uh, line voltages and two line currents. Uh, as you see them here. Then we moved later on into uh, the uh, RMS value for these uh, quantities. And uh, this is supposed to be also, again, for three levels of load. One is 100%. Then we go down to 60, 70% of the resistance. Then we go down to 50% of the resistance to make uh, the fill up of table number two. Similar to the case A, we have recorded the voltage and current waveforms as well as we have filled up this table. Case C of this experiment is delta connected inductive load. Now let us see why we are saying this is a delta connected load. As you can see from the circuit diagram, the points 2 and 6 are connected to each other. Similarly, the points 1 and 5 are connected to each other. Also, the points 3 and 4 are connected to each other. Then point 2 is connected to point 5 through a load. Similarly, point 1 is connected to point 4 through another load, whereas point 3 and 6 are connected to each other through a third load. As you can see, these three loads formed a delta connection. So we are going to explain case uh, This is uh, delta connected inductive load. So this, this is the connection. So here, uh, this is the delta connection. So the uh, this is the resistor and this is the inductor. So we have to make it a delta connect connected inductive load. So in a similar way, we have to measure the automatic measurement for the voltage, uh, two line voltage and two line current. Uh, this is the line voltage and this is the line current. Uh, this is uh, the automatic measurement. Like cases A and B, we have recorded the voltage and current waveforms as well as we have filled up this table for case C. Our final case is the delta connected capacitive load, where we have changed the inductive load with the capacitive load. This is the correction for delta connected capacitive load. We just change the load from inductive to capacitive, and we follow the manual to make a delta connected capacitive load. And this is the measurement for uh, auto from the automatic recording. So here we will record the wave for the line voltage and line current. So after clicking the clock icon, uh, we will see this. Uh, Away from. Similar to the previous cases, we have recorded the voltage and current waveforms as well as we have filled up this table for case D. So, from this experiment, we have four automatically and four manually recorded case files. In each case, using the manual recording option, we have recorded this table. Now, using the formula, we have to calculate P1, P2, Pt, Qt, and theta. After calculation of the required quantities, we have to plot PT versus RL, QT versus RL, and theta versus RL for each case.